Praise the Lord, saints. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. We do thank God again for being back in service this evening. We thank God for life, hope, and strength, for all his blessings he do continue to bestow upon us, spiritually as well as naturally. <clears throat> we certainly thank God for all of you that pressed your way back out Amen. this evening. We thank God for seeing your faces again. Amen. Thank God always for Elder James and the saints. So we certainly thank God for you. We do want to remind the radio listeners, the church is located here on Frontland Road in Grand Bay. We certainly know if you come here, you're going to hear the word of God, so we encourage you to come. Amen. Radio listeners, we also want to remind you these programs, you can view them on YouTube, via YouTube. Just go and type in Minister K. Murray. That is our channel. You'll be able to pull it up and then be able to see this program. Also, as we already mentioned, please stay tuned. Uh, in the near future, we will have, uh, we will be more than just on YouTube. We will have our own website whereby you will be able to go and view these programs, the entire program, uncut and be able to keep up with the activities of the church, what's going on and where we're going to be. Uh, that's the Lord willing that will be coming in the near future. We will be announcing that as time goes on. We're glad to be here again this evening. We're going to get a chance to go into the Word of God. We just want to take our time and teach you this evening. Amen. Don't want to get in a hurry. We just want to take our time and teach you. We want to talk about living right. Amen. Amen. You know, knowing the word of God is one thing, but uh, we got to live right. Amen. Amen, brother. You hear me now? I say you got to live right. We say that we're saved and we come out of the world, then we got to walk in that manner. Amen, brother. We got to walk in that manner. We can't be in and out. In, you know, in and out of God. Amen. I've seen these folks that saved Sunday and Monday, they're back in the street. Amen. I've seen that picture. Amen. I saw that stuff coming up. That's not true salvation. Amen. You know, I've seen this type of salvation where you can go to church and shout on Sunday and you drunk Monday. Yes. Or better yet, you drunk Sunday evening. That's right. You know, wait to Monday. Quickly. <laughs> That's right. You go home quickly and get drunk. Amen. I've seen all this type of religious activity. That's not true salvation. When you got true salvation, you're going to live this life all the days of your life. Amen. When it get hard, you're going to live it during the hard times. Amen. You understand? Amen. Brother was talking about how hard things have gotten and how temptation is here in the earth. That's right. It's, it is here in the earth. But one thing about it, God is here in the earth too. Yes, he is. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. My God, man, he endured all the temptation as an example unto us, showing us that we don't have to yield to him. Greater is he, the scripture said, that's within us than all this temptation in the world. If you got a uh, salvation or you say you saved and, and that spirit that you got within you can't keep you. Listen to me now. It, can, it ain't strong enough to keep you then you need to go on back to the altar Amen. and get something that's a little stronger. Amen. Do you understand? Get something that's a little stronger. Oh, yeah. uh, the real Holy Ghost. Amen. That's able to keep you. It'll keep those that want to be kept. Amen. Amen. Yes, it will. Yes, it 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. Let's take our time and teach you. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And we'll start at verse 1. What did it say? Therefore, seeing we have this ministry. You know, some, I thank God Amen. we have this ministry. Amen. I thank God for just counting us worthy Amen. to partake in this thing. Amen. I tell the brethren, you know, I just thank God for just being a part of this. Just watching this thing unfold. Amen. Just riding it out. Amen. And just seeing how God is working this thing out. Amen. You know, I, I, I'm telling y'all, I can't express how I feel now. I thank God for this. God has got us on a ride and I'm enjoying the ride. Do you understand? Yeah. What did the book say? Therefore, seeing we have this ministry. Seeing that God has blessed us with this ministry. As we have received mercy. Paul said we got it by receiving mercy. Amen. We didn't get it by our works of righteousness. Amen. We didn't get it because we're so perfect and upright. Amen. 
That's not how we got it. We got it through and by the mercy of God. Paul testified how he was chiefest of sinners. Amen. But he obtained mercy. Amen. Amen. And God, my God, came along and blessed him to labor more abundantly than all the apostles. Amen. Amen. My God, man, so this ministry, we obtain it through and by mercy. The, the knowledge, the wisdom God has given us is through and by mercy. Amen. Listen to the book. As we have received mercy, we faint not. That's why we're still standing. Amen. Because of the mercy of God. Amen. That's why we hadn't fainted and given up and gone back because of the mercy of God. Amen. Many would that we give up and go back. Amen. Many have prophesied. Many have talked a lot of old foolish talk. Right. But we're still in the race. Amen. And getting stronger as we're on. Do you understand? Come on, man. My God, and I thank God. Amen. And the strength, my God, is coming from heaven. Yes. Do you hear me? Amen. My God, you, you take like a good, uh, a, a good long distance runner. Mm -hmm. You know, men say how they get stronger yes. as they go. Amen. They, you, look, they may start out a little slow, but as that race, my God, as Amen. they start, you know, to, to make up, to accomplish some ground, yes. they get stronger as they go. Amen. I thank God for this. Amen. God is blessing us to get stronger yes. as we go. Well, listen to the book. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. And that's what we're doing. Do y'all hear me? Amen. I said we're renouncing by the grace of God. We're renouncing the hidden things of dishonesty. Amen. I want you to know all this stuff out here ain't real. Amen. I want you to know a lot of this stuff is clear cut dishonesty. Yes, it is. Even in the midst of this stuff that can call itself the truth all these years, Amen. it's a lot of dishonesty. Yes, it is. And I want you to know it. Yes, it is. I'm like Paul. Paul said we have renounced the hidden yes, things. Hidden things, the things don't nobody know about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Things don't nobody know about. We renounce the hidden things of dishonesty. Yes. My God, man, and listen, the way we renounce is by teaching the scriptures. Yes, Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. If you got an ear to hear the word of God, all you got to do is follow us along in the scripture, and you will see a lot of this stuff that has been preached, a lot of this stuff that has been set up, you will see and hear by the scripture it being renounced. Amen. Amen. You will see this stuff being renounced, and you will see according to the scripture, a lot of this stuff you've been taught down through the years is not by. Amen. Amen. We're renouncing the hidden things Amen. of dishonesty. Mm -hmm. Do you hear me? Amen, brother. We're renouncing the hidden things of dishonesty. Mm -hmm. My Amen. God, man, just, stick, just, just continue to listen to this program. Amen. You're going to hear a whole lot by the grace of God. Amen. Hear me now. Renounce the hidden things of what? Dishonesty. What else? Not walking in craftiness. We're not trying to use no craftiness on nobody. Amen. Ain't got no blessed water for you. Amen. Ain't got no blessed water for you. Amen. Do you hear me? I ain't asking you to sow no five hundred dollar seed, Amen. seed of faith, and God gonna make you a millionaire. Amen. Amen. We, we ain't hellin' that. We ain't using the word of God like that. Amen. You understand? We're not walking in that kind of craftiness. Hear me now. Amen. We don't want your money. Keep your money. Amen. God is able to take care of us. He's done a pretty good job so far. Do you, matter of fact, He's done a great job <laughs> so far. Keep your money. We don't need your money. God got all of it. He all that you got. Do you hear me? I don't have to use no craftiness. 